<laughs> See, that's the unplanned part that I love so much. <laughs> Oh, I love it, mate. So, what have you been talking about today? I've got, I've got no idea, you know. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, welcome to everyone who's here, which is not many people right now, but we're, we're live. And of course, as being widely discussed, we have Jeff, whose legal middle name is actually Measure Driven Data Labels Weir. You, you, you went to the, to the government registry and changed your name, right? I, I did actually, the other day, I did actually look to see um, what's involved in changing my first name to Dax. And I'm seriously considering it. I just thought it'd be hilarious. I mean, I'm not that great cool. at Dax. But, there, um, there is that there, there is guy, actually, Dax is a name, right? There's a dude called Dax Shepard. He's an actor or something. You should do he's it. Just, he's just a poser. He's no good at Dax. Yeah, okay. if, if you change your name to Dax, I'll change my name, I'll change my name to M Intellisense. <laughs> maybe, maybe my middle name, my middle name is Dax. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Kerry, and free, good evening, Johnny. Data labels, Dex, we yeah, I'd be fantastic. But come on, you, there, there are so many things you could change. You could change your name to Measure Driven Data Labels, um, Power BI, Idea Site, Dax Riggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dax Riggs sounds like so much from like a, a, a 80s or a 90s action film. I have no idea who Dax Riggs is, but I'm going to I'm gonna Google that. If, if I could, oh, if I was better at this, I could share my screen and show who, who Dax Riggs is, but. No idea. Oh, people are joining. Hey, everyone. Nice, nice for you to join us. It's, it's I was Kerry. Kerry's obviously a very early morning riser. I when we did the first ever one of these, and and and, and Kerry was on. She was like five o'clock in the morning. I think for Kerry, it you just looked so unbelievably fresh. I didn't know it was possible to look that fresh at five o'clock in the morning. I'd be like still half dead at that time. I'm, I'm an what evening you, person. This is what you're saying, mate. But, Oh, well, I mean, you look beautiful. Don't, don't get me wrong, man. Uh, but no, so, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you because you are, it's going to sound like, a, like, a, like I'm saying this in a really like derogatory way, but I'm really not. A vocal person on the timeline in, in Twitter is, is, I think is, is fair, right? I, I'm like the union rep for um, for, for yeah. self appointed, um, and no one's giving me, no one's paying me my dues. <laughs> As a very one day, client. mate. <laughs> they they should um, when changes are implemented that, that you've been championing, they should give you a special mention on the the, the monthly update, you know, or or, or name them after you. <laughs> I was I was talking with Mim about this because Mim's also very vocal and. Um, um, you know, I, I kind of joked that him and I are the troublemakers of Power BI, but he went, no, no, we're the advocate. So it's true. I mean, we, we love the product. This is why we're vocal. Uh, yeah. We just, you know, it's, this, it's, the, it's the old adage of the, the hopefully the squeaker wheel gets the grease. I mean, I, I, not, not allowed to, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say bitch and moan, but I bitch and moan about the yeah, fact like, a heck of a lot, not, but um, it's because I like it, you know, it's, it's because yeah. I want to like it more. Um, hmm. So that's fair. Yeah, I, and and I think the reason I moan so much is I've got no idea and uh, about what goes into making it. I mean, if only I knew. I mean, all these people at Microsoft will be going. If only you knew. Mm. We're trying to get this thing in, you know. Yeah. yeah, I for me it's different because sometimes I I look at how much is rolled out, and I I, mean, I see when they roll it out. There's always this thing. Yeah, but we wanted this, and yeah, but we wanted that. So it must be difficult to sometimes to work in this team who are pushing out a lot of updates and they do push out a lot of updates and sometimes very cool updates for sure. Yeah. Um, but of course, but you see both sides Like when you have ideas that have been sitting at the top of the ideas board for like what, since 2017 and they're still not actioned. It's really fair to wonder, but why not this one when it's such, it's not a particularly complex, you think it's not a particularly complex update, but it, but it's still there. It's sitting there. Is it because like no one cares or because I haven't got the time or because, this is the way projects work, but um, I, I, I think it's a, it's a good point that you make. I think it's easy to come across as, as you say, bitching and moaning, um, but actually what you're doing is just say, look, it's a great tool, but these things need to be there in order to make it better, more usable, and... For, for me. I, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not just for you, though. I, think, I, mean, I mean, going back to, of course, measure driven data labels. I can't say it particularly well. Your, it rolls off your tongue a lot better than mine because you're used to saying it, I'm sure. Um, I, it's one of the things that I never really thought about until it appeared on my 
timeline repeatedly. And I was like, that's a fair point. Yeah. That would, I, that, I mean, that would work. My, my deal with the product is, is, is I want people be able to be able to do almost every visual that's in this book. Um, I mean, this is, isn't the only data of this book that I've got, but it's, it's a really, really good one. And um, I just think that, uh, I, I mean, it's very big at the moment, right? Um, Mm -hmm. um, um, and you know we're, we're trying to teach people to read these kind of books but if, if the product can't do it um, yeah. then you know it's it's i don't know it's just annoying i mean it's getting better i mean it looks it's getting better all the time but i i, I think and i think it's i think the data of this stuff i think they've kind of picked it up a little bit uh recently um but i've always kind of complained that the data of this is the shorter leg of the platform um and it, uh, it makes a, a wobbly stool and and for me that's what mm. it is i mean people will argue about what is power bi well for me power bi is a data viz tool that helps to helps people see insight in their um in their uh i don't know in their business so it's like it's really really nice if you've got uh, fast dax and um, mm. great power query and things fold but if you can't actually make a decision based on it what's the point yeah, I mean, I think when it comes to, it's actually interesting, I was thinking about this the other day, actually, about what is Power BI, and I think that that question used to be easier to answer when it wasn't so developed, when there wasn't all the different things that you, I don't know, like the hundreds of updates that have come since, say, 2018. In 2017-18, it was just a data visualization tool, but there's so many elements now that they just kind of have brought in, and it works so streamlessly with your entire data flow and whatever tools, other tools you may be using. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're right, it's data visualization is, it, it would be a lot harder to sell the uh, Power BI if it didn't have the data visualization part. And it does, I mean, if you look at tools like, um, I don't know, Tableau, obviously, right? The, the, the way you can visualize data there is, is, is pretty beautiful sometimes, which is why though, I mean, I've been really getting into this Deneb thing recently, which is totally awesome. And of course, um, Kerry is doing fantastic work with that. So I've, I've been loving to have seen people um, really kind of experimenting a bit more with the visualization side. I really thought myself that I would probably never do that because I was like, yeah. yeah, the visualization, visualizations are fine. They're kind of, it's great. You can, you can do them and you can make them look cool with like tricks and like work around this sort of thing. But um, I think slowly there's that need for more. For, for people following along at home who don't know what Deneb is, um, Daniel, who's in the chat, um, has got a really, really cool visual um, that um, I think he describes it as a, what is it, a declarative language for, for visuals. And um, it's something that um, allows, it gives you much more greater flexibility than you get out of the box. Now, I'm really, really ashamed to say that I've, I've not used it. Um, okay. And um, there's, no, there's no reason other than the fact that I'm, I don't know, I'm, trying to, I'm busy trying to make the, the most I can do with the stuff out of the box. What I would love to see, someone asked me on Twitter, what would I like to see at, um, what was it, Embase coming up or Ignite? I forget which one is which. Man, I'd love to see... Um, Microsoft going, hey, we've bought this thing called Deneb. Uh, we've uh, got Daniel Marsh Patrick chained in the basement, and he's now working for us to um, make this platform more Tableau-ish. I mean, I, I don't want the, the platform to be Tableau, but for me, that's the only place uh, where, they're, where they're still behind the eight ball is, is, is you know, Tableau is still more than a nose ahead uh, uh, on, on Dataverse. Declarative visualization of Power BI, there you go. Uh, what that actually means is a really, really cool way to do stuff that you can't do, you know, to add your measure-driven data labels, to, to make things look like they're in storytelling with data. I, I, I apologize again, Daniel, I, I haven't picked up the product. I just haven't, partly I haven't had the time and partly it's because for some reason I just expect it to work out of the box. So anyways. Oh, Ben's frozen. Is it just me here now? <laughs> okay, Jeff. So tell us about measure-driven data labels. Oh, it's really hard interviewing yourself. Um, let's see. What else can we talk about here? 
Oh, hey, how about that lack of select all items on a slicer? Doesn't that drive everybody crazy? <laughs> yes, Jeff, it does. Oh, how about a uh, product placement for Zebra BI? This is, uh, <laughs> this, I must have really <laughs> annoyed him on Twitter with my measure-driven data labels uh, kind of rant. I wonder if we need to rejoin or... Okay, who's got some questions? Uh, no, I'm not commercially related to Zebra BI. I just really love the product. Um, there's something that I do um, uh, with a client, um, uh, NZ US Council, and um, uh, to to show trade data. And I've just found um, Zebra BI just to be a, an incredibly easy tool to um, to show you know masses of trends at once. Um, it's kind of a platform within a platform. Uh, am I a Wellington Paranormal fa fan? Well, our kids actually went to um, play centre or kind of a kindergarten kind of thing with um, Karen O'Leary, who's the lead from that. So um, absolutely love it, uh, Wellington Paranormal. Um, someone's asking me, what about Info River? Yeah, I haven't tried Info River yet. So that's kind of the next thing that... Um, I'm working on um, to have a play around with. But again, all these things take time. Um, I mean, I, I spend all my time just trying to get one dashboard to be the best that it can be. And then I'm like, geez, I've got to somehow work with, um, uh, you know, like Deneb or Info River. It's, it's really hard to keep up. What new CDs do I have, Daniel? The other day I went down to the hospice shop and I bought... Um, Oh, who's the dude who did Lido Shuffle? Boss Gags. I've always kind of thought, what does Boss Gags do other than Lido Shuffle and the Lowdown? And I bought a couple of his albums for a buck a piece from the, from the hospice shop. They were awesome. What about Ignite? What are you hoping for? I don't really go into those kind of hyped up Microsoft events. Um, I, I don't really care what they release until it, uh, until it shows up on my desktop, until I can have a go with it. Oh, from one to ten, how much do you love Calcrew? So that's a that's an absolute ten. Um, the I don't spend enough time these days actually doing um, DAX because I've started the new job and I'm trying to get my kind of my feel on what the organisation is doing with Power BI. Um, so I, uh, uh, Calc Groups is is something that I started mucking around with about a year ago or eight months ago and um uh haven't taken it as far as i wanted to i mean i mean i used to just love what kane snyder was doing on it but kane snyder seems to have gone uh 10 figures on uh, twitter seems to have gone dark i think he's very busy with his new job but um yeah cow groups are amazing can i have your hats <laughs> yes but can i have your hair <laughs> this is why the hats here it's it's kind of cold here in Wellington. I wonder if uh, Ben's saying anything on Twitter. He's probably saying, hey, Jeff, jump off and we'll rejoin. Let's have a look. Maybe maybe Germany's been hit by, hit, hit by a great meteorite or something. What documentation do I do around each project? Not enough. Um, that means none. <laughs> um, See, that's not true. I mean, I, I, I was working a, as a contractor recently for a power company and um, I had to do a heck of a lot of it um, just, to, just to discuss why I was, you know, doing and not doing this and not uh, and, and doing that with the DAX, um, knowing that probably no one's ever going to look at it. Uh, I, I, I'm actually finding, I find that uh, the Fields Finder, um, who does Fields Finder? Is it Imca? That's really, really cool for documentation. Vinyl or just CDs? Well, vinyl's too expensive to buy in the secondhand stores. No one wants CDs. Um, in fact, I've been buying tapes recently. So uh, just, just to have some. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I, what happens now? <laughs> I'm going to give a, a plug to some of my favorite books while I'm here. You know what? If you're making Power BI dashboards, Go buy the big book of dashboards. It's really, really good. It's mostly kind of tableau stuff, but you know, I think that what we need to do as 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 uh, as professionals is have an idea of 
what other people are doing. And this is one of the things I, I think we don't see enough is um, um, really nice, clean, tidy data. This that doesn't look like it was made in Power BI. I mean, it wasn't, but you, know, you could do this in Power BI. I'm kind of slagging off a lot of Power BI dashboards there, but you know, you, you look through the stuff, how many tree maps do you see? None, people. How many donut charts? None. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Another plug, Matt Allington's book, Supercharged Power BI. You want to get good at Power BI? Best place for Excel users to start. Really, really good. A, bo a book, a list of my book recommendations. Oh, Ben says his internet went down. Damn. Um, you know, Kerry, I, I started off, um, you, you know what started off my data this interest was John Poutier's Excel site. So John, I don't know if you know him, but he's got a um, site called uh, Poutier um, Technical Services. And John is just an incredible Excel user. So I actually started with Excel. Um, and in fact, that's where I first fell in love with measure driven data labels, because that was kind of the first bit of VBA I ever took and, and used and then amended was John's label last point macro. And just seeing um, John show why this is so important. Oh, yeah, the big picture, great book. Um, uh, just, you know, <laughs> midstream. OK, hope, hopefully he'll be back. Um, you know, John's amazing. He could take Excel. I mean, you kind of think Excel sucks at graphs, right? Almost like people, a, a lot of tablet people would look at what, um, I don't know, the early Power BI data, this stuff looked like um, and, and kind of poo poo it. But you see what people who are really good do with a tool and it's amazing. So I, I kind of learned ma mainly from um, John Pout here. He put me onto some some people like... Um, um, Edward Tufty, who seems to be a bit of a dirty word in the data of his um, community at the moment for some reason, um, and uh, Stephen Few. So I kind of grew up on that kind of min minimalist um, data of his stuff. Yeah, John Powdy is awesome. Um, John without the H, though. Um, and, you know, recently, what if I, I, I think stuff like um andy kirk his is it visualizing data that's a fantastic book um what else have we been looking at recently i've got a massive stack of them and i just don't i don't seem to get through them they seem to sit on my shelf um and uh it's really really hard to actually find the time to do them oh goodness me data ink ratio yeah yeah um data is funny isn't it it's like i think data is the hardest thing about power bi i, th I think there's nothing as scary as a blank canvas so, i mean this is the, the i think the thing i've um i've realized is, is that you know a good dashboard is never finished or maybe that's because i'm really crap at finishing things but um yeah i've, I've been working for years on my um nz us trade dashboard that i do for a client and um, it's just trying to make it more and more useful. There's just always things that you can think of to improve it. Uh, Christopher, I don't touch Excel anymore. Um, I, I, I used to do everything in Excel. I used to hate Power BI. In fact, I first met Phil Seamark is, is that he started the Wellington Power BI user group uh, the same week as I started the Wellington Excel user group. And um, I knew, of course, that Excel had the, some of the same components as Power BI back in the day, you know, uh, what still does, obviously, Power Query and, and Power Pivot. So I, I rang him up. He worked at a place called Trade Me and said, hey, I've started this user group. Should we, should we join up and do some kind of joint meetings? So I used to rock up to the um, Wellington and Excel and Power BI user group. Well, it was mainly the Power BI stuff and just completely switch off whenever... Um, uh anything to do with power query uh was on or anything to do with dax really i just didn't care about it because i kind of thought well i invested all this time in learning pivot tables and um and uh vba why would i even want to touch this crap and um so we would have like matt allington come fly in and he'll present at the user group and i'll just kind of sit there rock, rock up for the for the pizza um and switch off during the content and then one day i had to do something i think it was um, scrape a whole lot of csvs pull them into one one file uh, from, from nested folders 
And I, I looked at it and I thought, oh man, the VBA to do this is going to be really, really tricky. I'll just open up Power Query for the first time and have a, have a crack at it. And like five minutes later, it was done. And that's if it took five minutes. And ever since then, I was just, I kind of went, man, I'm working too hard. So, uh, yeah, I really, uh, I, I, I kind of miss Excel. I miss that VBA, but um, Power Query rocks. Daniel, sem semiology of graphics. I have it sitting by my bed. It's been sitting there fading slowly in the sun for about two years. Um, I've opened it up and um, um, closed it again. It's just, <laughs> it's just hard to get through. I mean, it's incredible. It looks amazing. Do I have any advice on working with direct report who's read show me the numbers but thinks Minimal clear visuals are just their opinion, and there's no hard rules. A B testing. You know, Andrew, I think um, I, 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 I think the best advice I think I can give someone who's who's starting to look at Power BI is to look at um, at Andrew Lapine's um, presentation from Zebra BI. What is it? Seven data the sins or seven sins of power bi or something or other um it's you know it's a showcase for his product i'm just, I'm just going to look at or some, maybe somebody can find it i can't back oh power bi by hey power bi guy can't get back into the stream well why don't you just ask me the questions in the chat and and, and i'll uh i'll answer them um grammar of graphics yeah i'll try it daniel I mean, look, there's, there's, there's so much data in this box, it's, it's hard to know where to start. Um, I, I will try again with semiology of graphics. Um, I, I, I guess there's a lot of mapping stuff in there, and I don't do a lot of mapping. Um, and at the same time, at the moment, I guess I'm learning by doing with my NZUS dash, trade dashboard. Um, Oh, sorry, uh, but advice on working with a direct report. I mean, this is really hard. Um, I, I, I think the key is to find reports that pop and to discuss them with them, to say, well, this is why I think this works, or this is why it doesn't. Um, yeah, I skipped the mapping estate for the preemptive attributes. <laughs> Oh, this is really hard talking to yourself. It's, uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, I might, I might actually bail and then we'll see whether it lets Ben back in. Maybe we'll try that. I'd even, okay, let's, let's try it. <laughs> see you folks. <laughs>